Cauliflower, the unsung workhorse of the veggie world. These wonderful white clusters not only taste great, but can give you an insane amount of nutrients. If you don't believe me, just look at the facts. Cauliflower is low in calories, with 25 calories per 100 gram serving. Packed into those 100 grams are an array of beneficial nutrients, like magnesium, potassium, vitamin B, K, and C. In addition, cauliflower also provides amazing phytochemicals that work to help fight cancer. Cauliflower can be used for so much. Unfortunately, its versatility goes undernoticed. Luckily for you, I have a few recipes that taste great and are packed with nutrition. This first recipe is a healthy take on a fatty favorite. Cauliflower Buffalo Bites with Buttermilk. First, preheat your oven to 450 degrees. For the dipping sauce, whisk the buttermilk, mayonnaise, sour cream, and vinegar in a medium bowl until smooth. Add the chives, parsley, dill, garlic powder, fourth a teaspoon of salt and pepper to taste. For the cauliflower, whisk the flour, paprika, garlic powder, and one teaspoon salt in a large bowl. Stir together the buttermilk and half a cup of water. Whisk the buttermilk mixture into the flour to make a smooth, thick batter. Add the cauliflower to the batter and toss well to coat. Transferring the cauliflower to the prepared baking sheets, shaking excess batter back into the bowl. Arrange the florets on the baking sheets so that they don't touch. Bake until the batter is set, about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, melt the butter with the hot sauce in a small saucepan over low heat. When the cauliflower has baked for 15 minutes and the batter is set, drizzle with half the hot sauce mixture, turn the florets over, and drizzle with the rest of the hot sauce. Broil the cauliflower until tender and crispy, two to three minutes. Let cool briefly before serving with dipping sauce. Serve carrot sticks, celery sticks, bell pepper strips, and cucumber slices alongside. The next recipe is a satisfying and healthy dish sure to please your taste buds. Shrimp curry with chickpeas and cauliflower. First, heat oil in a Dutch oven or large pot over medium heat. Add the onion and fennel and cook until they've softened, about six minutes. Add the ginger and cook, stirring about two minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Add lemongrass, red curry paste, and shrimp paste and cook until fragrant for about a minute. Add coconut milk, chicken broth, and fish sauce and bring to a boil. Then reduce heat and simmer until slightly thickened, about 20 to 30 minutes. Add cauliflower and chickpeas and continue to simmer until the cauliflower is tender, about 15 minutes. Add shrimp and simmer for four more minutes or until the shrimp are cooked through. Serve curry over rice, topped with cabbage, cilantro, and limes. This last recipe is a healthy version of a dish that many of us love. Roasted beer and lime cauliflower tacos with cilantro coleslaw.
start the slaw, cut the cabbage into the thinnest strips you can, making them no longer than two inches. In a small bowl, mix together the lime juice, vinegar, oil, and salt. Add the dressing right before you're going to eat it and toss it well, folding in cilantro just before serving. To make tacos, crank up your oven to about 400 degrees. Chop the cauliflower into small florets no bigger than a quarter. In a saucepan over medium heat, warm the beer, broth, lime juice, tamari, hot sauce, and garlic. Add to a large bowl, toss the spices, salt, and olive oil together. Add the cauliflower and onion, stir until they're well coated. Dump it on a rim baking sheet and bake until brown. Stirring halfway through, about 20 minutes. To assemble the tacos, warm tortillas in the oven or microwave for a minute. Pile them high with cauliflower filling and some slaw. So there you have it, a few great recipes utilizing the wonderful cauliflower. There are a lot of interesting things you can do with it, but when all else fails, it's pretty tasty all by itself. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.